Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Taisha with Organized Plans. I want to start by thanking all of my returning subscribers for spending some time with me today. And if you're new to my channel and haven't subscribed yet, I would love to have you. In today's video, I'm going to be decorating my monthly spread for September 2024 in my Happy Planner Catch-All Vertical Planner. So if you'd like to join me for this plan with me, then let's get started. Okay, friends, I'm excited to be creating this video. And I have to say, this um, creating a, a monthly spread is become one of my most favorite types of spreads to create. So I'm looking forward to creating this one for September. What I'm going to be using for this monthly spread is the new Keliva Plan I Love Fall um, sticker book. This one came out as part of her fall release in uh, August of 2024. So definitely check out her website if you're looking for this one. I am a Calava Plan affiliate and I always have the link to the Calava Plan website listed down in the description box. And I'm gonna do something a little bit different. Um, so I'm also going to be pulling in um, some stickers from the Wildly Chic sticker book by Livla Posh. And again, I'm also a Live Love Posh affiliate, and I believe this one is still available on the Live Love Posh website as well, which I are, always have linked down in the description box below of all my videos. And if you so choose to shop using my affiliate link, make sure you use my um, code OPLANS10, um, and that will save you 10% on your order at checkout. So with all of that, let's get started with planning and I'm going to take the pages off the disc and yeah I always enjoy uh you know these videos so looking forward to uh creating a fun spread I have my wax paper here and the set of stickers that I want to use are going to be uh this set here um, and let me just flip to the uh, beginning. So what's really great about this sticker book is you get um, boxes, all different colors, shapes and sizes, uh, checklists, bullet points. You get some decorative boxes as well. And uh, then you get some images or icons, um, just different elements. And these are so, so pretty. Uh, I love this Hello Fall, Autumn, um, Give Thanks. And with like the fireplace, Hello Fall. And um, my inspiration <laughs> for this monthly spread is this pumpkin right here. <laughs> because it is cheetah print or leopard print. I just love animal print so much. And I thought this would be such a great combination of doing some animal print with more of the classic um, fall colors. So you do get this page of elements. And then again, you get um, this whole page of florals and that is something that is a little bit different from the prior sticker books that had their head where she would do kind of an icons related um, sticker book and then a floral sticker book and so now this sticker book has been combined together I believe it is 60 pages so it is jam-packed and I'm looking forward to using this all throughout the fall season so why don't we start with just um, grabbing some of these stickers here and I love this like long one I want to pull that in and I think another reason why I like this set is because of the sunflowers it also has like the pumpkins and leaves and uh and everything in like some either corn or like no I think these are like wheat stalks so anyway yeah I just thought um, this would really make a great transitional spread as we move from um, summer into fall. Yeah, I thought I saw corn. <laughs> so this sticker in particular has some um, corn 
cobs and uh, pumpkins and sunflowers and everything. So how fun. Uh, and then the other one I picked up, it looks like it has maybe some cranberry in it, something like that. So this set is really unique. I love it. Um, and so I definitely want to grab anything that is like this leopard print. Um, I love this Hello Fall sign. And this like apple cider. Oh, that's so fun. Um, you've got some gnomes. Okay, and then this one is fun with like the scale and then the farm fresh. I want to grab that too. The hello fall. I want to grab that. The give thanks. The girl holding the pumpkin. Yes, let me grab her as well. And then let's see the autumn sign. I want to grab, yes, um, let's see, let's see what else. I like the dog too. That's fun. Okay, so grab the dog. And again, this one that has the fun leopard print in it. And... I'm just looking, I like this like two-tiered two with the gnomes, that's kind of different, fun, okay, and okay, so I think that is a lot of great elements for me to work with, and then I want to definitely grab um, boxes as well, and I'll just grab some in all these different sizes and colors. And how I use my monthly spread uh, is for like birthdays. Um, I track, um, you know, different appointments that I have for the month, uh, paydays, holidays, uh, other important events. If I have like any work travel as well, I'll, um, notate that on uh, this page. So just a little bit of everything is how I like to use um, my monthly page. I don't have as of now a ton of stuff going on um, for September. So I think that's probably plenty of boxes. And then to draw on the animal print, from the Wildly Chic, it has, oh, look at that. That's fun. <laughs> a lot of great options. But I did see in here are these uh, washi strips. And that's what I want to use. That's the main thing that um, I think just like coordinates really, really well. And so that's the main thing I wanted to just pull out of this sticker book. Um, so I'm just going to grab couple of those pieces. I may not need any more than just like one or two. So I'm just going to grab that. Okay, so with that, we will go ahead and get started. So um, I do like to kind of white out just to give it a blank slate, so you've got Grandparents Day, Labor Day, um, holiday I'm looking forward the most to in September is autumn beginning on September 22nd, so I definitely want to put a sticker down for that, and you have Patriot Day. So I'm going to start here and put that down. Just try to line it up right with that line all the way across. Okay. All right, and I'm just gonna just pull off that piece and then do a little bit of a trim. Okay, right, so just take it right to the edge and so what I will look to do is, the good thing is this long piece, I did have two of them. 
So I'm gonna put this one down starting right at that corner and just right above that leopard print. Let's put that there. Just smooth that out, connecting those two pieces together. Okay. Just wanna trim off that extra. Perfect. So that looks pretty seamless, like how that came together. So it's looking so far so good. Uh, I love it. I've been watching, um, I like clothes and fashion and everything. And I've been watching some uh, videos on YouTube for like uh, fall fashion trends for 2024. And they, <laughs> a number of videos talk about animal print is having a comeback. <laughs> I love animal print. Um, and so I'm happy about that. And yeah, I just thought that would be really fun to use um, in this spread. So I'll look to do is just continue that piece going across this side of the page as well. And just so it's kind of kind of a uniform look, symmetrical. Okay, just have that going to the edge. And it kind of creates a little bit of a border which I like. So I wanna just trim that off. Okay, let's do that. And then we can have her standing right there. Okay, perfect, yay! <laughs> I love how this is coming together already. So I know I want to have a box, maybe this one here, that will be for the first day of fall. Okay. For Labor Day. Can put that there. Okay, and I want to have a couple of boxes for payday, which will be on the 15th and 30th. So let's do one here for the 30th and the 15th, which falls on a Sunday. So I will get paid on that Friday. So I can put a box there for that. I don't have any birthdays this month. Um, so I don't have anything to put down for that. Um, I want to put this for an event I have going on Saturday. So let's put this box here. And then do another one. Maybe here. I'm just trying to get all the colors in as well. Okay, so let's put this one here. Okay, maybe this one can kind of go. I feel like that kind of looks good together. So let's do this piece here with the uh, scale that would be pretty okay this hello fall i think would be cute to like hang from that box and then maybe this piece let's do this piece here 
thinking this one could be cute that says autumn kind of hanging from these two boxes yes that I think works well and I do want to get this pumpkin here just again so I have some more of that cheetah print on the page um, I think this could work in this spot well okay I have this pumpkin here that I think could be great for the hello fall maybe this one before let's move this one and put that gnome piece down instead I think I would like that better so let's put that down there okay I feel like it's coming together and maybe I'll do the leopard or animal print pumpkin here I think that would be cute maybe this sticker farm fresh pumpkins would be cute to go there maybe put her here I think that could fit in that spot nicely. Let's maybe put the barrel here. And then I have this other one that says Hello Pumpkin and it's the uh, mug. I love fall drinks. So that will be cute. I, I feel like I have everything down in terms of the function. So just kind of filling in here or there. And I think this one could be cute, like stuck here. I think that could work. That's fun. Okay, I have to say that this one is a little bit out of my comfort zone because I'm so used to all my large florals, but I feel like it's coming together. Cut these pieces down and just like add in, add in some of these cheetah pieces around the page. And I think that will kind of help tie things together. So let's do that. And maybe her, maybe her sitting on it. Okay, let's do that. Have that kind of going across here. I like that. Cute. Okay. Yeah, I think it's coming together. Uh, maybe I'll do a piece here. Yes. He's there. Feels kind of like empty in that spot. Um, maybe this other piece here. Okay, friends, I think I'm going to leave it here. It looks very full. Um, I will probably go and look through my sticker books and see about maybe a quote to go here on the corner um, or on the sidebar. But otherwise, I think this came together really well. Um, as I said, this is definitely a bit out of my comfort zone. But you can't go with florals and florals <laughs> and animal print. Like, you just can't go wrong with it. So I really love how it came together. So you'll definitely have to let me know 
what you think down in the comments below. And if you like this video, don't forget to click the like button and give me a big thumbs up. We greatly appreciate you subscribing. I thank you all so much for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye friends. Oh,